Remained of Champlain Tower South was demolished on Sunday, but engineering experts are still studying images taken right after the initial collapse. And what they've discovered is concerning. Local 10 News investigator Jeff Weinsier continues our live team coverage. Jeff. Nicole, experts are comparing the original building plans to pictures taken after the collapse and the amount of steel they thought they would see, they aren't. The pictures and what's left standing are telling seasoned engineers a story. These three columns remained intact after the collapse and they are raising eyebrows. There seem to be less reinforcing steel than what the drawing showed. Less, either less or improperly placed or both. Shanker Nayer has spent 52 years designing and investigating tunnels, bridges, and buildings. He's the former chairman of the Council of Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat and a member of the National Academy of Engineering. They say that there should be a certain number of rebars in that area of the slab. And you don't see that? And you don't see it. The number right over the column turns out to be four. In most places we see two, not four. Now it's possible the two others were just outside the footprint of the column, so it disappeared with the failure, but they should have been right over the column. Nair has concerns about the pool area as well, and remember witnesses claim the pool deck and garage collapsed prior to the tower coming down. Some of the pictures show a clean break in the slab around the swimming pool, but the drawings show that there should be a significant amount of reinforcing steel through that joint. And I don't see that in the pictures after the collapse. The man hired by the town of Surfside to investigate the collapse says more analysis needs to be done. All concrete is made to crack. So you're going to see cracks in all concrete. The issue is, what does it mean? That's the bottom line. The only way I could see this having happened is that there was some significant flaw in how it was built. I can't think of any other failure that really surprised me more than this. The concrete, the steel, the soil underground will all be tested as part of the investigation. And when this building was built, building inspectors would have gone out there and inspected and signed off on the steel before the concrete was poured. We are still waiting for records from the town. All of the engineers we talked to telling us this rebar issue alone still would not have caused that total collapse. We're live tonight in Hallover, Jeff Weins here, Local 10 News.